I am Harvey White. I am a prof currently a professor at the University of Pittsburgh. I am a past president of the American Society of Public Administration, uh, former city manager, uh, former dean, uh, former director of a center for healthy communities. Um, in general, uh, someone who simply is committed to public service and helping to inspire the next generation to be willing to serve and to serve at a level of excellence that's going to inspire, inspire others and inspire commitment from citizens. But I look, though, uh, at my international work and the work we've done uh, helping to prepare uh, public servants in South Africa following apartheid. Uh, we were invited, uh, some of us from ASPA and COMPA, the Conference of Minority Public Administrators, to in fact help prepare uh, those people who had been excluded from government in South Africa or public service in South Africa. We were invited to help prepare them for to become managers of state. When I look at that transformation and our role in that transformation, our support for that transformation, and how well some of those people have done and how committed they are now to making sure that public service is provided not only at an effective uh, and efficient level in South Africa, but also equity uh, beyond the blacks who have been excluded, but a commitment for all South Africans to serve them all. I think that's the group that I'm probably inspired by the most because they are the ones that perhaps were denied the most and consequently have assumed the mo most responsibility in a way that reflects, I think, what public service ought to be um, reflected as or carried out as, a commitment to serve all humanity, uh, regardless of race, creed, nationality, and other kinds of things that we tend to use to discriminate. Uh, we like to think that we had an impact on how South Africa moved forward by working with those young people and some of them now are in very top leadership positions. One of my loves is the Center for Healthy Communities that I created in Mobile, Alabama. On leave from the University of Pittsburgh, my wife is a physician, so I went down with her and spent six years in Alabama. I created uh, a program, and, got it, and we were able to get it funded by NIH to actually promote STEM. Uh, we actually set up an institute uh, where we were working with young people from junior high, high school, and college, where we brought them on the campus during the summers for intensive program with mentoring and, and tutoring. And then for the high school students, we in fact once a month brought them on the campus to in fact carry out uh, that mentoring that you described. So that's one of the things that I, I have pride in. Uh, that center is still going very strong, even though I'm not there, it's still funded by the NIH. But it's, it's much broader than just the young people. Uh, that center that uh, I conceived of, and can't say I created because I had a lot of help uh, in developing that center. Uh, we were working with community members, and one of the things we were very much concerned about were health disparities, and how do you address health disparities? Um, one aspect of that would be the medical aspect. The other aspect of that was behavior, that if we're going to transform uh, out of this health disparity dilemma that we're in, we have to also trans help people transform. Uh, we did things like uh, community-based participatory research where we empowered the community to go out and find out uh, in their own way uh, what the problems were, what the obstacles were for their health care. We were shocked when, we, when they came back and said, our health care problems are abandoned houses, crime, uh, potholes in the streets. We were thinking they would say things like access to physicians. Uh, but that being said, that to me was public service. Uh, and again, that's one of the, that's part of I think my legacy in terms of that center we created in Alabama and that's hopefully, we've endowed it actually, set up an endowment to make sure it keeps going. Uh, so we are very pleased with that. I don't consider myself to be a health care provider, but I was a, a, a I had a professorship in preventive health at the University of Alabama, uh, and that was my responsibility to help, in fact, address health. And we said, well, you're going to do it. We need to not only address it for the contemporary population, but also look at down the road uh, 10, 15, 20 years. And that's how we started working with, with elementary, 
junior high and high school students, in addition to their parents, to help them think about health, health issues, and how to transform their lives. If you ask me about my career and what it is I do, I tell people, as a public servant, I solve problems.